I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. Starting off today, I believe we now have the correct amount of eyes, all 12 of them, after we craft two of them today. I believe we are going to be able to open up a portal, and we should be able to at least go to the end. I don't know if we're going to survive the end, as I don't know what that dragon really has to offer. But we should be able to do that. But first things first, I want to make my gear even better than it already is. Now to do that, starting off, I am going to need to change my GUI skills so I can see all of my gear and uh, take our gear off. <laughs> I know, right? Um, now our chest piece is already really good, but I was looking at all of the other things that we could potentially put on here. And uh, we could pretty much get our equipment just about as good as we had it before with even better stats, um, which is really, really cool, right? So um, now, first things first, let's take a look at our weapons. I think our weapons, it's incredibly important. And this new incinerator that we got last episode, we should be able to improve the stats on and get something really nice on here. And actually, uh, using these arcane sands, we should be able to put this on here right here. Only requires 20 levels, and it brings our attack damage up to 20. Um, our attack speed is going to be pretty slow still, but there's a bonus. This is going to give us weakness 2 that's going to apply to whatever we hit. Um, and uh, it also has a socket, so we can put a speed socket on here to hopefully make this a little bit faster. It's almost the equivalent of having both of these swords equipped, so this thing is pretty sick. And uh, I think this is the way to go. This is going to give us some base uh, overheal as well, which is going to be pretty nice. So that's that weapon. As far as this goes, I think um, we should be able to go. We want to do something. Let's see. Mob drops will teleport to you. It looks like whenever we just looted that, this has a chance of doing the pinata, which is kind of nice. I can look at this and go, OK, so this is going to do 14 attack damage and have a socket. And this is going to give us some stuff. I mean, it's going to remove the weakness, but I don't think we honestly need it at this point. I'd prefer to have higher damage output and a free socket space. Uh, but this will have a 1.2 per chance uh, chance to do a loot pinata, which is actually pretty crazy. It just explodes into like a stack of items that would normally drop. So this is actually pretty powerful. Um, but that's not exactly what I want. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It looks seems like most of these are, are trying to give me that versus what's already on here. What's on here is really nice. I do like the fact that we have one that attacks in a range. I don't know. I might keep what's on here for right now. Let's take a look at our boots and stuff. It seems like once I reforged, because I was just looking at these earlier, it seems like once I reforged, it actually reforged everything and allowed uh, everything to kind of be rerolled. Um, so this is going to have fire damage reduction. Right now we have explosion reduction on here. But entity gravity is such a pain. I don't want to deal with entity gravity on all of my pieces. That would be quite frustrating. Now, this gives us resistance too. When attacked, we gain resistance too for four seconds. This would be pretty powerful. I think this actually beats out what we have on our gear. So why don't we, yeah, we should definitely take that. That's a definite improvement. Our chest piece is already incredibly good. I don't know if we can get a better reforge on our chest piece. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I think currently what we have with our explosion damage. I mean, getting some of that physical damage reduction would be nice, but we get resistance too from our chest piece. So we, we could go for a, an additional socket here. This one's giving us fall reduction, but we get it plus a lot more armor, it looks like. Well, a little bit less armor than what we have. But another socket I think is way more important. Plus we lose that entity gravity. Oh man, this is a mouthful trying to get all this done. But it's going to be super worth it after today. So I think I have all of the all, all of the reforges done. So on this, we have weakness two. This one's going to give me knowledge for five seconds and has a 1% chance of the loot pinata. Pretty low, but I don't really care about that. The fact that we have sockets are really important. And I'm going to prioritize attack speed because that is a really important stat to me. Uh, and then base overheal. And then I'm going to apply... I believe just 8% on one of our armor pieces. So this is going to go on armor uh, piece. This uh, base current AP HP damage, when we attack a mob, it's going to take its current HP and it's going to deal 8% of its current HP as bonus damage on top of our damage we're already dealing. So that's going to be pretty powerful. And then base overheal is going to give us some extra hearts um, 
as well, which is going to be pretty nice. It's going to be a little bit of overhealing. Um, and uh, that already exists on this sword. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead on this sword and I'm just going to apply an extra overheal, I think. Um, and then just on our main gear. So let's get this socketed in. I think this goes in here, right? So base overheal. We can put that on there. That's going to give... Actually, let's make sure to put our base speed on here. There we go. So there is bonus attack speed. That's a really powerful stat, in my opinion. I'm going to put it on the chest piece as well. And then on the helmet, we can do base overheal. I think that'll be fine. And then on my boots, we can do base overheal. Oh, wait. The boots don't, doesn't have an extra slot. But the swords have extra slots. Oh, these can't... We can, can we not put... Oh, so only certain things can go on weapons. So, can we put both of these 8%? I cannot, oddly enough. Huh. So, how are we going to socket onto our swords? Now, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to socket any of my jewels into, the, <laughs> into any of my weapons. I don't know why, but I wasn't able to socket any of them. Um, but I did at least get things socketed that I wanted inside of here, giving me extra attack speed which is exactly what I need. That means more DPS, because before, I think we were pulling about 24 DPS. Now we deal about 32, 33, deep, 34. Close to 35 uh, damage per second here uh, with our base weapon without even doubling up. Now let's double up. Oh, we actually do less damage, it seems, with two swords. Now how much damage do we do with this? So about 30, and as you can see, that critical is really showing off there with that crit chance. It's interesting, if I don't use this, I'm actually faster. Uh, I think I think using both of them is going to be beneficial, because one gives me knowledge and one gives me speed on hit with weakness too. I don't know, I still think dual wielding these swords are even better than this giant thing. Now, I know all of the crafting and stuff is fun as far as crafting up our gear and getting it as best as we can, but I think getting the eyes is going to be even more fun. So, I need to get a witch eye, which we have right here, and then I'm also going to need the undead eye. These are the two eyes that we need to craft, and uh, I believe I do have everything needed. So, over here, I do have a witch pupil which is one of the things that I definitely needed. We need some blaze because we have to make eyes of ender in order to do this. And some ender pearls. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get our remaining eyes. This is pretty crazy. Um, I think I have a soul laying around. Yes, I do have an undead soul. Still don't know where I get this from unless it was from a skeleton horse. Um, that might be actually where it's from. It's from a, a skeleton horse. Um, but that is going to make this. So we need phantom membrane, gas tier, all of the things of which we have all over the place. So phantom membrane. I have plenty of phantom membranes. I just got to find where they're at. I got stuff all over the place. I just really wish there was like an integrated storage mod into this. Like Tom storage or something like that. That would have been a really nice addition to this pack. Um, bone. It probably would have actually extended the longevity, I think, of this pack. Um, so let's see. Rotten flesh and just a bone. And then we have this one ready to go. This is another eye crafted up. I'm excited to see what's in the nether, or in the end, not nether. So, Mirror of Souls. That's another one done. That's almost 12. Alright. Now, the Witch Pupil is as simple as Eye of Ender and Witch Pupil. And there we go. Advancement. Main Witch Eye title. That's an interesting advancement. Okay. So, we have just about everything ready to go. This is one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is how many we need to get into, <laughs> into the end portal. Now, before we go there, I want to test my strength. And well, how about none other than Shrek himself? I think uh, this is definitely a good test of uh, our abilities. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy going. Don't we punch it? Shift right click? I don't remember. One of them. Yeah, keep right-clicking. Okay. So, to be our abilities, let's see if we can't roll into this guy. My goodness. And set him ablaze. We do take damage and must be at half health. We're taking zero damage, though. 
But look at our overheal. Look how many extra hearts we now have. Okay, I feel like going this route is the best way to do it. Yeah, we, st we attack so much faster, it seems. So much faster. And there is another essence. And that's one thing I want to farm. I want to try and farm this as best as I can. Let's see, do I have to be... There we go. I want to farm this because I want more stamina if we can. I feel like that'd be kind of worth it. This guy, we can get him so down so fast. Look at this. Yeah, this takes no time at all now. And I, we take no damage, so... This is probably the fastest way to farm essence. I am farming this so fast, it has glitched out. And there are now two that can be spawned in like at once, I guess. I have no idea what's going on here. There's that one. And will this one work? Oh my god. <laughs> They've effectively duplicated themselves. And now we can do two at once, I guess. That's so weird. Now with everything on me, I think I am prepared. I upgraded my stamina. So now we have a little bit of an extra bar, which I think is, is honestly worth it. And we can now travel to our end portal. And this, of course, is the one that we found in the castle, which is amazing, by the way. And uh, I think this is honestly one of the best looking in portals. So I think I'll stick with this instead of even trying to find the fortress, because we've all seen a vanilla Minecraft fortress. So let's do this. I feel like I have all the power in the world in my inventory. It is kind of crazy. Oh boy, there's that one, there's that eye, and I don't know if you have to place them from in the middle, uh, but that's probably best practice as that's how a portal actually has to be activated when it's been spawned in like this. Ooh, there it goes again, and the next eye. Oh man, all of these eyes and all of the work that was attributed to these and all of the time spent gathering up all of these individual eyes leads up to this very last eye, the witch eye. And could this, could this eye be the one that corrupted that witch in our village? It very well could have been. It very well could have been. This could have been the eye that uh, was the reason for all that madness. And that's why uh, it was like that. But here we go. The portal has been lit. And there is no coming back from this. No coming back. We have one final task, and that is to jump into the portal. Oh boy. I hope the dragon is something different, but at the same time, it could be kind of chaotic. But I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm excited. As the world slowly loads in, the end. And all of this, all of the questing, all of the Guildmaster quests have led us to this location and led us to this place. Ooh, look at that dragon boss bar. Oh my gosh. And here it is. The dragon. Wow. And the end. Oh boy, I hear it. I hear it. Is it, is it a, it's, it's, it's a normal, it, I don't actually know if it's a normal dragon, but it looks like a normal dragon. And you know what? I should be able to actually make a spell here. That should be pretty powerful. Okay, it is not a normal dragon. As you've just seen by it dropping on the ground and dropping these endermites, I think that's what they are. Okay, so best thing I can probably do is I can cr I can go ahead and make a uh, projectile spell with an explosion. I think that would probably be the coolest thing to do with an AOE. And we can use that to blow these end crystals up, I think. Or maybe no. Oh my. Is it, why, why, why does it not work? That doesn't work either. Oh, there's something extra. Something extra definitely happening here. I don't know what. Do we have to punch these by hand? Oh no, it's just maybe the strength wasn't strong enough. 
because this should. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. So no, they're still normal. It's just that the explosion didn't actually damage it for some reason. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Look at him. Oh, we got hit with levitation? I will, you know, I won't complain too much about that. I, I don't mind me some levitation. I mean, we do give ourselves levitation technically. But yeah, we should be able to easily take these out. Are they all caged like this? No, no, not all of them. Just a couple of them. Whew. I think it's coming from like this shulker. That is a weird looking shulker, by the way. Holy smokes, the dragon is so epic. That is awesome. That is still so cool. I love when the dragon gets modified because I'm so used to all of the dragon fights that always happen and they always happen the same way. Ho! Oh, the noises alone are worth it. Come on, I need you gone. I need all of you gone before I can even start doing damage. By the way, here I am farming this and I know so many who haven't ever fought the dragon in the first place. Oh man. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I do want to get up top here so I can try and take out, take these out from a distance. Oh man, I've, out of all the bosses I have fought, these are by far, these aren't too bad. I wonder if we could actually survive a rather large explosion here. Actually, we do. We survive it no problem. Of course we do. All right, let's get the last one. Last one. The dragon is being being reckless here. Oh, no, it's not the last one. We have one more. Just right over here. Oh, goodness. I love that boss bar, though. That is sick looking. Reminds me of Terraria and like the Calamity mod and all the mods for Terraria. Okay, that's the last one. Come on, you're gonna have to come after me. Come on. Me and my mega sword here. Come on, bro. Yeah, take that. Oh, he's punching me. He's giving me the uppercut. That's hilarious. I love this. Okay, well, how is he regenerating? That's what I wanna know. Oh shoot, he's stomping me into the ground. What is this boss? Okay, he can regenerate from hitting me. But we deal so much damage. This is incredibly, incredibly fast. We attack with so much DPS. Oh, come on. Quit taking me down. Come on. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I love it. It looks so cool. Oh, boy. That doesn't look good. Oh, he's regenerating his health. Don't know. How could you do that? If you stop attacking, is that what happens? No. Where is he gaining health from? The Aether, the straight up nowhere? Oh, you lunatic. All right, we need this open area here. No, you can't fly. No. It's still linking to that, even though there's nothing there. Why is it linking to this? Unless there's something inside of here? It, there's gotta be. Come on, man. Come back to the fight. He's being a scaredy, a scaredy dragon. There you go. That's more like it. Now I can't hit you though, because I'm in the air apparently. There we go. Oh shoot, no. Come on. This is, this is a really fun fight though. I'm having a lot of fun. Look at these guys. Okay. We just gotta wait for him to land again. There we go. This actually does, uh, does quite a bit of damage though. From what I can see anyways. We should probably use like the effect be gone to get rid of the levitation. There we go. Let's do this. 
Come on. You can't run from me. He just smacks you. Get him. No, 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 no. He shouldn't be able to do that. There is something here. There's got to be something in this. That's like somehow regenerating. No, no, no. That shouldn't be regenerating. Why? How? How? What is it? What is in here? There, there, there shouldn't be anything in here, right? But it is connecting. Oh my gosh. There's, there was one in here. What? It was inside? Is that, does that mean there's going to be one inside all of these? No way. Okay, well, you're donezo now. I, you're totally donezo. Yeah, come on. What are you going to do now that you can't re-heal? Huh? Huh? What are you going to do now? I don't think you're going to be able to do anything. I'm sitting here punching him with my fists. Holy smokes. All right. He just smacks me around. I love it. Okay. I think we almost got the dragon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ouch. Quit stun locking me. There we go. At this, it's at this moment, I wish I uh, was thinking of uh, of dragon puns, but uh, the only thing that comes to mind is the old show called Dragon Tales. Oh my god, that was a show. That was a show back in the day. Do 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 do. All right, we almost have him. We almost have him. You just spit out an Ender Pearl. Woo! Let's get that DPS. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Nope. Nope. Quit. And get wrecked, Mr. Dragon. Get wrecked. Oh, man. The destroyer of this whole world, the whole realm is now, oh, now so much better. Oh, man. And it says, congrats on killing your first dragon. Be aware that every dragon you kill will make the next one harder to fight. Impending doom approaches. Uh oh, what, what have I done? What, what have I done? Um, well, <laughs> let's just ignore what that said. Uh, apparently that said my next dragon will be harder. Um, I mean, so long as it can't heal, then we should be fine, right? Surely, surely we should be fine. I mean, do we need, we need this dragon egg, right? Let's, um, Let's see. What is this? We get a we get another heart container. Ooh, we get a free heart for killing the dragon. And uh, I just right clicked the dragon egg. Is that spawning another dragon? There's like particle effects. I was hoping it would just teleport and I could collect it, but no, no. It's doing something else. Oh no! I don't like the particles. Uh, that's not normally how you spawn in another dragon, but yeah, that's a thing. Oh boy. At least it's glowing. I think it's a great trophy to leave there. We'll just continue to leave it there. Now, at this point, we should go find ourselves an elytra just to make the suit that we're currently wearing even better. Now, actually, before I can do that, I've got to find Enderman because there's no Enderman... In the end, I I don't understand this. Where are all the Endermen? Like, I just noticed that throughout the entire fight. They're not here. Unless they only spawn on End Islands. So we have to go back and get ourselves an Ender Pearl from the base before we can even launch ourselves to the End Cities. So let's complete the game. <laughs> that joke will never get old. Did anything change with the title screen? It doesn't seem like it. Oh other than it being Excalibur, which is the actual texture pack that this is, by the way.
Um, and so yeah, it's exactly the same. So, back home, our world should now be in expert mode? I don't actually know what this is referencing as Terraria goes from, after you kill the, the you know, the wall of flesh, it goes into hard mode. In this pack, we went into hard mode, we went to hell, went to the nether, but now we're in another harder mode? Yeah, I, I don't know. We're supposed to be anyways. Um, so let's grab some inner pearls and let's get that elytra. Also, before we do that, let's just open up our treasure bag and see what we get. So, oh, we just got ender pearls, which is really, really nice. Okay. And we got some gems. Um, and we got some bottles of enchanting. And then also this enderium shard, which is used to make an enderium ingot, which then can be used to make an enderium sword and or upgrade gear to be eh, okay. Definitely nothing, I think, compared to what we currently have on. And this is this is quite, quite nice. So apparently this ore right here, this malachite, I believe, can be used to make this um, adamantite ingot, which is totally from Terraria. And uh, it can be used, this ingot right here, can be used in a smithing table to make adamantite gear. So interesting. Uh, it seems like this is about the equivalent of netherite, it looks like. We take iron gear and upgrade it basically to netherite. This is basically what this is. As far as attack damage on the swords and stuff goes, it's about the same as what we already have, unfortunately. All since, uh, the, the end was sort of gated here, it seems like it's definitely put a halt and kind of took a lot of the oomph out of a lot of the items that actually exist in the end. So, kind of an interesting choice there. But... We now should be able to use an Ender Pearl. Should have one laying in here. And hopefully find ourselves an Elytra. At least that's the hope, anyways. End Midlands. And I still see zero Endermen. I maybe I mean maybe Endermen are being prevented from spawning here. Oh no, there's an Enderman. Okay, so now so Endermen do spawn here. It just only spawns on the island, just not the main island. Oh man, this thing right here is actually one of the mobs that we need to kill. Capsid 19. And we got ourselves a capsid. This is actually one of the methods for spawning the void worm from Alex's mobs. So, oh, and this guy's a legendary. He has like, I, I believe he has, well, maybe he's not legendary. I see all kinds of effects spawning, but yeah. These guys are pretty crazy. They can actually infect you and spawn more. Oh man, there's so much cool stuff going on. All right, we've got to find more islands because there's just nothing here. There's so many cool things. Like these little guys. What are cosmic cod just swimming around? That's so cool. Oh my goodness. There's so many cool things like ah, oh, there's like whatever this liquid is here. Oh boy, that's not good. It's hurting us, apparently, and gave us oozed. Hmm, Calorb. We're going to have to figure out what that is, but these, I know exactly what these do, and these are from Quark, and these are so great for getting around your base. You basically shoot an ender pearl into one end, and wherever you have the whole line going, you will teleport to the other end. You just have to harvest all of these, which... It's not super hard to do if you have ability to get up there. But yes, definitely want to grab a bunch of these. Now, there is so much to be explored, it looks like, here in the end. And so little time to do it. So I think today is going to have to be the end of our exploration. But next episode, we are going to be coming back and we should be able to nab ourselves an elytra. And also explore even more that the end here has to offer, including this really cool building over here that I have no clue what it is, but there's just, everything just looks so cool. And so with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, as these videos do take a rather long time to produce and make. And I do appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed thus far. Also give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below what you enjoyed the most, most thus far about this mod pack, as it really does help that old YouTube algorithm, if you know what I'm talking about. Guys, it's now time to thank the supporter of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go out to... 
death row over on the discord becoming a discord premium member and supporting me in one of the best ways possible guys thank you so so very much of course the fam says thank you to all of you who have supported and uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one and as always thanks for watching